phases of the moon. Have you ever looked up into the night sky and wondered why the moon appears to change its shape? No doubt each month you've observed these different shapes many times before. The changing shape of the bright part of the moon that we see from the Earth is called a phase. These phases make up the lunar cycle. Towards the beginning of the cycle, the lit part of the moon that we see starts off small. It then grows to be a full moon and gets smaller again until it can't be seen. Eight phases make up the lunar cycle and each phase is named after its size. As the moon grows bigger, it's said to be waxing and as it gets smaller, it's said to be waning. Now the very first phase of the lunar cycle is the new moon. This is when we cannot see any light being reflected off the moon at all. The second phase is the waxing crescent. Here the lit up part of the moon begins to grow and we see less than a half of one side of the moon illuminated. The third phase is the first quarter. This is when we see a full half of the moon lit up. The fourth phase is the waxing gibbous. Here we see more than one half of the moon illuminated. The fifth phase is the full moon, when the whole face of the moon is in view from the earth. The sixth phase is the waning gibbous. Here the illuminated part of the moon begins to shrink in size and we see more than a half of one side of the moon illuminated. The seventh phase is called the last quarter. This is when we see the last half of the moon illuminated. The eighth and final phase is the waning crescent. Here we see the last visible part of the moon before it finishes its cycle and starts again with the new moon. But what causes these phases? Why do we see different shaped moons in the sky? Well, the answers to these questions have to do with the Earth, Moon and Sun and their movement and positioning in relation to one another at different points in time. The Earth orbits the Sun and while it's doing this, the Moon simultaneously is orbiting the Earth. It takes approximately 29 and a half days for the Moon to orbit the Earth and complete a full cycle of phases. While not to scale, this particular animation demonstrates the relationship between the Earth's rotation and the Moon's orbit around the Earth. As the Moon orbits the Earth, the Sun shines light on the Moon. We see the bright parts of the Moon's surface at the following different angles because of the position of the Moon in relation to the Sun as it orbits the Earth. This relationship between the phases of the Moon and the position of the Earth and Sun is further demonstrated here. As you can see, the part of the Moon that is facing the Sun is lit up, whereas the part facing away from the Sun is in darkness. Take a look at the new moon for example. During this phase from the earth we do not see any moonlight. This is because as you can see the moon is on the same side of the earth as the sun and hence the light that is being illuminated on the moon by the sun isn't visible from the earth. However when the moon is on the opposite side of the earth to the sun as shown here by the full moon nothing is blocking the view of the moon's light and so that's why from earth during this part of the lunar cycle we're able to see a fully illuminated side of the moon. Hopefully now, after exploring the lunar cycle, when you look up into the night sky next time, you'll have a better understanding of... Phases of the moon.